Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. I'm delighted to be joined by Nora and Rami with their fantastic film, Alina. Let's take a look at a clip. Some see this as an example of how layered things are and the lots. I see it simply, the story of a German who failed. I am not that kind of German. Um, I'm so glad to have you back and thank you for being part of, of our film festival. Uh, you know how much I'm in love with your film. Uh, I have told you that, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us the brief synopsis. Sure, uh, Alina, is about a group of young women who are struggling to smuggle a three-month-old baby to safety as Nazis are separating children from their parents. Uh, and it stars Ali Ashokit from Arrested Development and Search Party. You have a, a, obviously a, a fantastic cast and I, I, I wanna go into more detail about that. You, you made one of those films that I'm, I, I, it, it brings tears to my eyes because I'm so glad that you made it because there's so many people that suffered um, during this time. And I think this is one of the stories that needs way more attention because unfortunately it was one example of many. Um, for you both personally, and I know obviously Nora, you wrote this, but where did the inspiration come from in, in decide to tell this story? Yeah, that, th that takes us back to like, kind of like early 2016 mm -hmm. when you actually came up with the, you were doing something on on Facebook <laughs> if you remember and then you came across a lot of I was trying to find I was doing almost like an exercise during tw the 2016 election election cycle of finding inspirational stories and the stories of these female smugglers in um, in and out of the Warsaw ghetto struck a chord with me um, my mom uh, got our family to safety from an anti-Semitic dictatorship. So I think I was just drawn to how everyday people react in um, situations of crisis, especially when their communities are being targeted. Uh, so that's really where it came from. And we just found it sadly very resonant um, to the rise of, of hate crimes and prejudice and anti-Semitism in the world today. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where the inspiration came from. Yeah. It, it, you know, what your film is a very hard watch, but it's a hard watch, but it's a reality. And it's disgusting to know what went on and kind of disgusting to know what is still going on today in, in different ways, but it's still happening. Um, I thought your, I mean, your cast were mesmerizing. Like every single person was just I, I'm unreal. Like I was there with them and it was painful to watch their performances because there was so much at stake. Um, how did you bring about your cast together? Some very notable cast, but like, my goodness, everyone just pulled it out for you. Yeah, uh, well, um, the cast the cast journey was, again, like very, very interesting and uh, a journey, actually. We had people in mind once we started to conceive the story and uh, we were able to get some of those people and Alia Shaukat was one of them. And um, Eden Galli, who plays the uh, uh, the right hand man to the lead Nazi, he also was one of them. Mm. Like it was one of, like you know how you collect pictures of actors in a in a on Pinterest, or and they were there, <laughs> they and were we there. were able to get them, and we were so lucky and thankful and grateful for that. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the cast, we were able to uh, work with a casting director, and before being able to work with a casting director who was not on board yet because of budget reasons. And then once we figured out the budget, we were able to bring, to bring, uh, to bring her, the casting director in. But uh, Nora specifically was able to reach out, like with, with our limited um, resources, we were able to reach out to, for example, the uh, Polish film festival community. Yeah. And we ju Nora wonderful. just, yeah. yeah. You, you, if you want to talk about how you how you yeah, did it, it was just reaching out to them in LA and and seeing if they would be if anyone would be interested in being part of this project. And um, Dorota Puzio, who who 
does a wonderful job in the short, reached out to us. I think what makes the casting yeah. special is that every, especially for the women involved, yeah. every single woman we cast had a personal connection to the story. To the story, yeah. So they were a mixture of Jewish women, Polish women, women of color, Mexican women who were dealing with the separate like activists in terms of children being separated from parents at the border like everyone had an interesting personal connection to the story and i think it's yeah. what makes their performances really special is i think they yeah. were really really feeling it yeah, yeah. i mean th th that's the that's the you know i'm glad you, you you mentioned that and as you know i spoke to you i've got people personal in my life that found your the fact that you gave this film a, a voice you know really meant something to them and i think it's empowering when you know you hear that this film is is meaningful and myself included um I, what what was you know uh, the, the 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 stakes were very high in this film and and i'm sure I, i'm just knowing coming from i couldn't imagine what it's like being on set with these stakes like you know how how is your i mean of course you've got a great cast but how do you work with your actors in in this situation because my goodness me they all shone but wow, like it's a lot to take, as, even as an actor, to, to take on board a role like this. Yeah, um, well, again, like the, the first thing that, the first thing that we were trying to do to begin with is to pick um, a very good actor mm -hmm. or actress, right? Like that's, that's because that, and that, that's that, that type of work we, we, we were doing in prep to save a lot of time on set because again, not a lot of resources, not a lot, of, not a lot of time, and we were chasing time during that challenging journey and and shoot. So um, it's actually very simple. We were telling our actors that they just have to be in the moment and just believe in it. It's just very very simple. And during the the time where where, where we were auditioning uh, the actors, um, we conversed a lot like us and them and like um talked about talked also i talked also about my experience being uh, a child of war uh, mm -hmm. being uh, born and raised in lebanon uh, in the middle of the civil war and uh, you know lebanon is not uh, like as a country that's interesting where it has its several types of conflicts and wars that we can talk about forever right like so it's there there you're someone we have that survival instinct as human beings not just as if we forget about filmmaking completely just as a human being you just have that survival instinct you're always trying to dodge some kind of bullets by bullets it's it's a metaphoric um uh, way of uh, like it's not an actual bullet necessarily <laughs> although we, we, there's that too <laughs> but yeah so yeah. once once we talked a lot about that they were able to 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 get it and it's it's important to us to uh what was important to us is uh we, we kept mentioning to them like naturalism and naturalistic acting and really being in the moment and once once the actors all of them were in that decor that we and that environment and that atmosphere that we were able to create mm. on set then it was easier for them to just believe in it and believe in being in that specific moment and act and react towards what's happening what was happening to the point where and we were also inviting them to we were not completely precious about the lines of the script uh -huh. yeah so with which could help and we were not also precious about how they were moving because the camera and that's a decision that was taken before mm -hmm. um was to actually follow them as opposed to them being uh, fo following certain marks on the yeah. ground to meet the camera and meet the in focus or yeah. out of focus. There's a lot of movement going around and I'm sure that that was hard to sort of navigate. Nora, yeah. you mentioned something that I just, I, I love that you mentioned this and I love that you also outreached a lot of different communities and people that really felt something um, as well from the, from, from the project. Um, I, 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 it's, it's a real sad fact to feel that, you know, this was a moment in time that, that happened, but like you said, there are people today that are being, you know, separated from the border in this very, very country. And I don't think, 
you know, we're, we're making a very good job of, of really understanding what that actually is, the stakes that are there, that the horrible things that parents and children have to go through today that it could be preventable. Was in making this story, was that something that also, you know, in these conversations, you kind of want to say, listen, like, yeah, this happened, but my goodness, we've got a lot of work going on to do today that we could improve too. Yeah, it's beautifully put. I mean, it was really, um, you know, the whole point of, of telling, I think, historical stories, and Rami, I think you agree with this, is to, is, is to have them intentional. You know, they don't, they're not, they exist in the hopes that, they, that history will not repeat itself in this way. And certainly each conflict is different. You know, the Holocaust is, is singular, but I think, you know, from speaking with survivors in the process of making the short, we realize there's always a, a desire to, to ensure that this doesn't happen to any other community. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it was, we were filming it when, you know, literally the news that was coming in on my phone during shoot was about children, ch the children in the cages at the border. And it was, it's, any beating heart will, will make a connection between, you know, just the, the profound horror of a child being separated from their parents in any way. And, um, and also the, if we want to look at the, the hope in, in, in the short, the fact that people stood up, you know, some people really did stand up for each other in those times. There were an incredible Jewish women who stood up for other families. Mm -hmm you know, and, and, and looked after their community. And there were some Polish Catholic women who stood in solidarity with these Jewish women. And, and yeah. at, they were all risking their lives um, at every single moment mm -hmm. of saving mm -hmm. that, you know, we just focused on one baby in our film, but these are really 2,500 children that these women saved. Yeah. As, a, as like a, as a as unit, a, yeah. as a, as a, as a network of female smugglers and each, each, baby's journey or each child's journey, sometimes they weren't babies, they were a bit older, involved many women in collaboration. Yeah. And each of those women was risking their, their livelihood and their life because mm -hmm. it was the, the, the punishment for helping anyone Jewish um, or resisting any kind of Nazi order was, was immediate execution. So the, the stakes were very high for every single woman involved. Yeah. And I think that just carrying that on to today when we see what's happening in other communities is just asking ourselves, are we willing to care for others that might not be in our own immediate circle or might not be in our own immediate community? It's an important yeah. question, I think. Oh, no, and most, most definitely. And, you know, and, and I love that it was an, an, an in focus of amazing women, you know, because, I mean, we, we have to face the facts. Men cause a lot of war um, <laughs> you know, with their testosterone um, and it's un, unneeded and, and, and not needed. And, and these incredible women that through their love of just supporting each other and 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 trying to give the children a better life and a better opportunity even though they're putting their own life at risk was just mesmerizing i mean it, and 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 it's still happening today sadly you know people are trying a better life for their children in circumstances and i just thought you articulate it so well now i honestly you mentioned about budget rami i watched it and i have to say like i was like what how much was this big budget you know uh netflix feature you created because it really you did give a great production value in your film uh the location was perfect even just the you know, the, the, the vehicle that you use, like it all just like, it just felt really good production value wise and the colors that you set in your film as well. Tell us a bit more about finding the locations and, and certainly you just pinpointed that that period of time that I just, you know, with the color scheme and, and all the kind of, uh, you know, period that you had to put in there as well. It was really well done. Oh, thank you. Um, um, finding the location, well, it was shot in LA. That's to be I can't kidding. believe this. Like, yeah. I'm like you're lying to me, you know. <laughs> the first thing we went for is really um, well. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal something, and I don't care. But like basically, the the the, the film lies to you a little bit. Like you have two major uh, places that are interiors, and right. and the right. checkpoint which is an alleyway. I love it. it just was, and, I, you created this in the world for me. It was brilliant. Yeah. So um, uh, the the hardest location for us was uh, to find. 
Yeah, I know but, which one. Yeah, it was 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 to find where uh, Alina is the jumping window. <laughs> out of the window. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that scene. No. That location we found it two days before the shoot when we mm. were like a lot of a lot of a lot of doors were being closed in our faces. It's so funny you mentioned Netflix because, sorry, it was so yeah, funny no, you mentioned no, no. Netflix because Netflix stole our original location oh, because <laughs> we had a location in mind and, you know, obviously I don't we blame any. It. We locked we that locked location it. and then Netflix we... took it from us Yeah, because no. they were paying more money. Because they could pay, you know, yeah. and obviously we were, it was more of a, yeah, so, but it's, it, we, it was really fortunate. The, yeah. the, oh. Things like the cars were difficult i mean to be truth be told the car broke down the second we wrapped oh, wow. yeah the truck the, <laughs> the truck, truck yeah. the truck yeah. broke down like it was just an old i mean it's these there aren't a ton of these things in la even the costumes they're not there were not many costumes available in fact we had to sometimes cast some of our actors according to the sizes available wow. in some of the in some of the ss uniforms um so shout out to our wonderful costume designer chris yes. who ran all over LA on a very shoestring she budget made, she, and made she, it happen. She made, she made it under budget. <laughs> yeah, she made it under budget, which is yeah. highly unusual for anybody to do. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah it was, uh, that's, this is the, basically, that's a costume and, and, and the production design, the, 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 the production design team did something that is very interesting. They already had some things from previous shoots that they were able to, repurpose in, in our film and that helped a lot and um other than that it was basically yeah that's 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 that's, that's about it. that's basically those are the, it. Like, those yeah. are the departments <laughs> yeah. and um oh something that's very important the sound that was something that really that in yes. our case elevated oh. the production value and elevates the budget because you, it, we just have to i'm i'm i'm, I'm a, like i re, i'm really obsessed with sound and it's something that i borrowed from again from my experience as a child of war so it's about and i edited myself and while editing wow. i was use i was doing a pass on the first sound design so i was but i was going back to my memory and how i was living back then and what were the sounds that I was hearing in a war, although they were very different as wars, but there is a sound of like a bassiness that's always there and you have to create a whole word that doesn't exist on the screen and just exists mm -hmm. in sound. And that boosts naturally the production value mm -hmm. because the imagination of the audience is gonna also go with what they're yeah. hearing and not- Oh, what... it, wor it worked yeah. wonders. Like... It, it, it really did like I, like I, I still have vivid uh, distinct memories of just the sound of when they were in the apartment and and that sound that they were coming closer like that was horrible to to watch and feel and then certainly the the, the gunshots that were going on that it was you know it was really you did a really really good job with it um it did exactly what it was supposed to so you know well done now um obviously uh, it's not your first time with us at new filmmakers let's not forget that so so we are welcoming you back as as alumni um and of course you're an amazing dream team power power film couple right here with wonderful talents um it was very i mean obviously you know we have a, a monthly film festival but it was very special to have you as part of the new filmmakers la program in partnership with the academy of motion picture arts and sciences and then in particular, on top of that, a celebration um, of film from filmmakers from the Middle East. How, how special would it be kind of part of all those different entities? Because, you know, well, well deserved, but it's great to see, you know, recognition of our global filmmakers and storytellers. Wonderful. I mean, it's, it's really wonderful to be back, honestly. Yeah. It was a beautiful experience. We, we loved it the first time. Rami was, over, was it unable to participate the first time, yeah. although it was your, it was your film um because he was traveling so the, the great advantage of the virtual festival is that everyone is able to hopefully participate and mm -hmm. yeah it's 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 really wonderful it's an honor yeah it's because yeah. it's becoming really like a like one of our favorite festivals like a home you know yeah. it's uh that's that's how that's how it's becoming <laughs> yeah we hope to come back we hope to always come back 
yeah, please. I'm so, I'm well so well. glad that the Academy got to, you know, recognize as well, you, you, you know, your great talents. I mean, I go as far as saying your film should be seen by, by anyone that's got a heartbeat, you know, that wants to learn about their history and prevent stuff that's, you know, happening today and be aware and open and, and help to make that change. And that leads me to sort of say, I know it's hard to sort of summarize with so much in your film, but what did you kind of want your audience to take from your film, learn from your film? Like what, what was, what elements were important to you when you were writing it and, and, and articulating the film? Very simple. I yeah. Think. Well, at, at first we don't, like once we conceive an idea, because this is how we work, like we come up, she basically comes up with the idea and then like, hey, I have this, et cetera, et cetera. And then we start to, we start to bounce ideas. We, at first, we, we don't start by thinking about an, uh, some kind of a message or that's explicit mm -hmm. immediately to the audience. It's it we we find it along as as we're going with the yeah. with, it's usually with, this, a story with the story that we yeah. have to that we're story and character yeah. stories that we're and characters that we're obsessed with bringing to the screen that we feel are important to celebrate on screen, mm -hmm. but I think after watching it exactly like what Rami's saying, what we took away from it and what we took away from these women's our, our women ourselves was how act an act of love can be a form of resistance. resistance yeah. Um that how the, the way in which love can counter hate so powerfully is something that we learned through the process of making the film. Yeah. But we didn't really like think of it. They, these characters and the, the, the real life women upon whom they're based, that's what they taught us in the process of making the film, if that makes sense. Well, no, it totally does make sense. And I, 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 I you know, it's, it's, I, 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 don't, I, I love the way the story carries you like so strongly. Like I would love to be in the room at the moment when you just, are so deter like you find that storyline you want to create and you're like we've got to do this we've got to make this happen you know like it's your stories are so strong and 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 it's you know really really glad that you made this film um what is next for you both what's what's next on the horizon for you both um well we're we're trying to work in both mediums tv and uh and feature films and um Currently, at the moment, we have another short that we did a couple of years ago that we're at, at, like that we're finishing. We're finishing the script of that of that uh, adaptation, mm -hmm. a feature version of that short, and that is with um, X Y Z and Satya. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, we'll enter the financing stages in like at the beginning of uh, next year. Um, so that's one thing that we're really, really, really passionate about. Mm. Um, that's great. XYZ, a great company as well. Really good. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. They're wonderful. Yeah. Um, there is another project that's, uh, more of a grounded sci-fi animation that we're working on with participant. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a show. Um, we're, we're thinking. and we're thinking about other projects as well. Like yeah. we have, we have. We constantly, especially this year, like this year, most, we, we, we didn't shoot anything. So what we were able to do is trying to come up with uh, several ideas or potential projects that we're adding on our uh, slate and that we hope we can make in the future. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, your pre-production will be exquisite because you've had the time to prep. So that's good during this time. <laughs> um, uh, no, listen, thank you, Bob. It's always a pleasure. Um, so delighted that you brought um, this this film to us and, and just, I know you're going to keep making more movies and keep bringing them to us, but we really appreciate both of you. So thank you very much. Thank you so thank much you for so having much. us. Thank you. Thank you. Or Rami, everybody, Alina. Thank you.